In eighth place is the Australian soap opera Neighbors. This will probably be another short and sweet video on Neighbors because I don't feel like I have a lot to talk about, but it is up one spot from October. I had Neighbors in ninth place, and that was just because I was still learning the characters and the stories, and I kind of still feel the same way. And I know Neighbors will be taking a hiatus in December because the Australian soap operas usually take hiatuses for Christmas. So I don't know where Neighbors will fall in December because I won't have a lot to talk about in December either. But I did put it up a spot to eighth place because days fell so hard. And it's actually, it's not bad. It's just, it's just not entertaining enough, you know. You know, some of the stories I'll just talk about quickly. We got Amy, Felicity, Levi. They're still having that open relationship and there's like a, an STD scare. This storyline I do enjoy because it, you know, pushes some boundaries, which not a lot of soaps always do. Well, not a, let me rephrase that. The British soap operas do a lot. I don't know if the Australian soap operas always do, but the American soap operas hardly push boundaries anymore. They used to in the fucking 60s, 70s, 80s, maybe even 90s. But the last two decades, the American soap operas are very cookie cutter bullshit. So the fact that they have these open relationships, like honestly, like I talked about in days for October, they were teasing this, this throuple situation, but that never happened. We have this open relationship story on Neighbors, which I am liking so far, but it's not on all the time and it's not always engaging either. That's why, you know, it's a story I enjoy, but I feel like they could put more time and effort into it also. Um, we still got the story of Nicola, Aaron, and David when the baby drama and Nicole not agreeing to the original terms of custody. And then there was a camera planted to, to watch Nicolette with the baby. Uh, Isla, I believe her name is, planted it. We saw Isla get hurt too. Uh, I haven't watched the last week of the month, so I don't know when this video will come out. But uh, wh whatever it is, it's not going to be good enough to get neighbors higher in this rankings. Now, one of the main stories has been the character of Glenn. I did a little bit of research on the Claire character of Glenn coming back, who's Paul's brother or half-brother. Seems like he was a character in the early 90s for a short while. He got hurt and was in a wheelchair, but now he's back and he's not in a wheelchair anymore. And we've had all these encounters between Paul and Glenn, and then Glenn and Therese, who uh, they, they share issues with addiction. But anytime a soap opera can use history like this, I give it props. So it's cool to have a character return who hasn't been on the show in almost three decades. Which is one of the reasons I enjoy soap operas anyway, because they have this rich history. They have all these characters in the past that can return at any point where they can get flashbacks of them. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten enough flashbacks for this story. We got a little one at the beginning of an episode, I believe, which showed Glenn getting hurt originally. I wish there was more flashbacks. That's one thing I could say for this story. But I'm enjoying the story too. I think it's one of the more uh engaging stories of the month of november uh we had mick being a stalker weirdo i don't know enough about this history it seems like there's a history there it was entertaining enough um hendrix and mckenzie having sex for the first time like i had talked about in october i enjoy that young couple so like there's a lot i enjoy on this show that it, it can keep getting higher Unfortunately, they have that hiatus coming in December, which I think is going to hurt it for me in the rankings. So it's not going to gain enough momentum yet, unless they have this really great cliffhanger for, for the break. But overall, I'm enjoying Neighbors. I really am. I just, it could use some more excitement. It could use some more intrigue. It's kind of just there, some episodes, you know. But... You know, it's not as boring as Young and the Restless. It's not as aimless as East Enders. It's not as fucking ridiculous as Days. So it's in eighth place right now for November in my soap opera ranking.